I think it's the blind leaves the blind here, isn't it? Blind leaving the blind, it is really, yeah. I don't understand this. We need a ploughman. We do need a ploughman. We do. Ploughman's lunch. We need one of those as well. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, let's just go for the lunch. Let's just go for the lunch and get the plough in. Right then, let's go do a bit of topping. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. So, a bit of topping this morning. I'm out with the TM and our spearhead topper. I'm going over an area that uh, it's a bit of a wildlife area. We uh, planted a bird mix here two years ago, and uh, it was a two-year bird seed mix. Uh, it's time to get it topped back now, so I can cultivate and prep the ground ready for establishing um, a bit more quite a good thing actually and it's something I want to do more of. Um, what we've done is we've taken a quite unproductive area of the um, of this field and planted some winter bird food. Part of a stewardship scheme so we do get paid to do it but obviously it makes sense to take an area um, that isn't so productive on the arable side um, out and um, do something you know useful with it. We've seen a lot of different birds Using it for feed and cover, lots of different other um, wildlife as well, butterflies and bees, lots of different insects, it's really really good and it is a very nice sunny day today, perfect day for doing a bit of tractor work. I'll just show you guys quickly. So as you can see here, all of this here is the um, area that we've created. It's on the edge of this arable field here. Now I don't know if you can see, but there's a line of telegraph poles there. And they make it quite awkward to farm this bottom part of the field. So it made sense to have an area cut off here. And although it doesn't look much now, it's actually got a lot of different species in here. There's millet, chicory, linseed, all different kinds in here, providing a habitat for birds and wildlife through the autumn and winter months. This is just one area of a few that we have on the farm where we've taken unproductive areas of the arable out and sort of, you know, leaning them more towards um, wildlife and the environment, which, like I said, I want to do a lot more of. So yeah, I'll get all this top back and then I'll put the chisel plow on the tractor and start getting it worked down. Tell you what, we could really do with some rain now. It's uh, dry everywhere at the moment. Uh, the wheat could do with a bit more fertilizer, but there's no point putting it on if it's not gonna get washed in. The grass isn't growing very quickly. Dare I say it, we need some rain now.
I was going to use our chisel plow on that bit, but then I thought, why don't we try out the Dad's Well plow? Because we haven't actually used it since we got it. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. Dad's going to pop up as well, have a little look. Well, we're plowing. Yeah, sort of. It's, uh, sort of. <laughs> I asked my trap a little bit. Yeah, you parked in the way. Yeah, you're going to have to get out and move that. Yeah, I'll do that Else I might, I might scratch it. You, you might, just do it. Okay, I'll, be right. I'll ride back with you a sec. Well, we haven't done conventional ploughing, moldboard ploughing for a um, long time on this farm. But I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to try it down here. Okay. Try to flip it around. I don't understand why the back fire is not doing as much because it was it was set perfectly. I think it's the blind lead the blind here, isn't it? Blind leading the blind, it is really, yeah. So it's got the length of the top I think we've got to lengthen it, yeah. I, I don't understand this. We need a ploughman. We do need a ploughman. We do. Yeah. Ploughman's lunch. You want an as well? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go for the lunch. Let's just go for the lunch and yeah. get the plough in. At least we're honest. Absolutely honest, yes. <laughs> I've um I've a limited experience with ploughing. I spent a bit more than me, I haven't done much before. Went straight on to sort of being till in the sort of eighties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I've been on the farm we haven't yeah. really done much conventional ploughing, but I thought it was worth giving it a go though. I don't think we're at championship standards yet. Not not quite yet, no. no. So... Bit annoying. We've got a shear bolt gone and uh, we don't have any with us. This is not going so well, is it? Well, it was going well. Yeah. Dowd's well, but now it's not going well. I heard it clank. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So we had to go back for a shear bolt. <laughs> um, and what are we doing now, Dad? Well, <laughs> I thought we'd go for ice cream. We're getting an ice cream from the shop. So yeah, we definitely weren't prepared. We didn't have any no, shear bolts. We didn't have a shear bolt all We haven't made a very good job so far. It's my fault. I said, let's go try the plow. I wanted to chisel plow it, didn't I? You wanted to chisel plow it. Because that would be sort of fairly straightforward. But I really wanted to try out the Dowswell plow. And, and uh, yeah. And now I've got a shear bolt gone. But it's all right because ultimately yeah. we're going to get an ice cream. Um, I've got a mask, so. Don't we go? Uh, a clippo is first choice, Solero second. A clippo is a tube. My car's broken, it won't do contact, but so I've got to remember my pin. Two four nine eight four six. Two four ah. nine eight four six. Competition time. <laughs> um, someone's going to win Dad's credit card, and now you know the pin number. <laughs> Do you honestly think that is the pin number? Don't confuse yourself because you forget the actual pin number. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Patiently waiting for Dad to uh, finish in the shop. So. What's your go-to ice cream? Let me know in the comments below what your favourite ice cream or ice lolly is. Well, this was supposed to be a farming video. This has just turned into a bit of ploughing and um, a trip to the shop. Solero. Oh, bang on. Title of this video was going to be um, trying out the Dowd's Well plough. Oh, now it's going to be ice cream and shear bolt. <laughs> <laughs> don't get them confused. Don't get them confused. Don't lick the shear bolt. <laughs> don't lick the shear bolt and don't try and put the ice cream. It won't hold. hold. <laughs> I've tried, just the time. With the stick holes. The stick holes. Not yeah. for long. Not for long, okay. No, it doesn't work. So instead of going shear bots, we should have just got hundreds of scenarios, <laughs> eaten them and used the sticks. That would be a much better idea. Much better idea. <laughs> okay. So it's good with the plow on, isn't it? It does actually, so it's There's a Solero. There's a Solero, <laughs> There's a Solero thank you. Do you want that? Are they the uh, Solero? They are. Do I don't suppose it's in line, is it? No, it won't be in line. I think mine's lifted up, Dad. Just back a little bit. Uh, See, if I had come chisel ploughing, I would have brought the shear bolts for the chisel plough with me. Yeah. So it just goes to show that I well, we just should have done the same with it. Just for the record, Dad, before I help you tighten that one up, mm -hmm. the reason it's wonky is because I was following the line of the uh, track, wasn't I? You were, yeah. So yeah, I don't want to make that clear to everybody <laughs> that um, <laughs> that's why. That's the first bit of plough you've done, isn't it? With a conventional plough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We haven't broken a shear bolt on this side, have we? We just that new one there. Yeah. Now that's definitely better for me. That is better, isn't it? Yeah. I think we we'll probably go with that. Well, it's not perfect, but we'll go with it, shall we? Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's it's very. 
it's plowing. Man, managed to sort of get it set up, but we're near the end now anyway, so yeah, yeah, I may as well just go with it. Yeah. I don't think I'm <laughs>